Hello guys, how are you all? This is the Dusapon, the Eurovision blog that gives you 12 points and also your favorite Eurovision boutique channel. I am Bogi from Romania and this with us today is... Khan. Hello Khan. So today we are going to talk about Portugal. Tell me more about it. Okay, so I... You know, going into Rotterdam and the rehearsal season, I wasn't a huge fan of the song. And today was the first time that I watched the rehearsal. And I can easily say that it is one of the biggest growers. Um, bo like, both personally and also according to the odds, because the staging looks great. It's the first time that I feel like Portugal has invested in the staging a lot. Because the LEDs looks great. LEDs look great. Um, it starts off as a you know monochrome film like uh it's, the camera is really i mean not a lot of countries played with the camera uh effects this year portugal is probably the only or one of the few few countries that did that it starts as a square like four to three proportion and then it expands to 16 to 9 in the Ooh, after the first resolution you're talking about the resolution right exactly right. exactly okay. and what interesting is and i find it so creative uh when you know when it changes to this uh, bigger proportion um the you know the running order and the you know name of country you know on the left uh, bottom also goes with the camera to the to the uh you know left side like mm -hmm. when, when it grows it yeah. also goes with that camera and i find it really creative because you know when we normally get those you know smaller camera angles not angles but you know those shots let's say um the country and the running order is always on the left bottom side and i as i said i find it so creative it's actually a small touch but i want to mention it um other than that you know it's mm, it's a band actually playing at a concert you know it gives me that feeling it there's nothing too much going on uh in terms of you know staging but at some point the lead singer moves you know um to the tiny stage and while he is you know walking the side screen shows some street lights and it creates an atmosphere as if you know he walks on the street and it's really cool um and then he plays he plays the guitar in uh, on the on the uh tiny stage you know the staging is not extreme like nothing that we have never seen so far but it's effective and this song you know portugal is always like playing their music at eurovision i mean they are you know not going big in terms of staging but yeah. this is this is effective. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a diehard fan of the song still, but mm -hmm. I think we need this kind of a song in the final. Um, I guess as, is it you know, like as the people. only jazz song we have this year? Yeah, yeah. And you know, the running order we said that there are a lot of ballads and slow songs, but I think Albania has a you know has an epic staging. Portugal is more jazzy, and Victoria is like you know really this soft, intimate. Um, yeah. voice and staging so I think they don't cancel each, each other out and I think Albania, Portugal and Bulgaria have really high chances to qualify Portugal um, yeah I think Portugal will qualify I mean if it doesn't qualify it'll be a really borderline non-qualified like 11th place I think this is a definite jury pleaser In you know it, there, there are some amazing vocals and he has a really high pitch and we don't see like we see that from John's tears, but yeah. uh, you know, there are different vibes, you know. I mean, th th that's why I think this yeah. was. Happening. And actually, I'm gonna, I will dare to say that I'm gonna go uh, go too far and say that this can even surprise us, you know. I can, I predict a sixth finish, like sixth place from six, seven place from Portugal in the semi final thanks to the jury voting and i think public will like this as well because this is a you know specific vibe and 
Yeah, I I think Portugal game can really surprise positively in the final. No, like uh, in the past, follow the um, previous days, we all heard the same talking about uh, this country is the the dark horse. This one, are you sure at this point that Portugal is the dark horse of this competition? I I oh of this, I mean of the semi final too. I can say that. Um, Yeah, I mean, I I can actually say that I'm confident that Portugal do well. I can say that. Yeah, yeah. And sure. other, than, other than that, I don't have anything else to add on. I mean, yeah. Let's let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Well, for me, it will be a surprise because I wasn't able to see any rehearsal from Portugal, and you know that I was not a big fan of the song. But if they will do well, I am a pretty jazz fan, pretty big jazz fan. So yeah. I, I now you made me curious about the staging, I, and I have to, to at least see a snippet of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. I guess this is all we got from Portugal today. Just show us some love on social media, please. You have to follow us on Instagram, here on YouTube. Follow us. Click that notification button because it will really help uh, see us uh, the evolution of our evolution on yeah. this uh, Eurovision journey. So yeah. See you guys. Bye. Bye.